Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life, Captain Albert Santucci here, and we've got our sail lines that we're moving through, and I'm building as many of them as I can with the amount of supplies that are coming in. So I was able to get a good portion of the sail line ripstop fabric to make 10 sails. And with these, I'll be able to use this side as a pattern and pre-cut all the PVCs I need for them before I actually start going and doing the length on them. Now that's the only portion of this where I can't just do a pattern on it. And the reason for it is this. Yeah. Gotta buy, gotta buy. I got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team I'm not a <laughs> seamstress by any way And so all of these are off by, you know, half an inch, quarter inch Or three quarters of an inch from, you know, the original one that I kind of started out with So because of that reason, I can't pre-cut everything in that sense I got to go, I'll go a long ways top to bottom I can set that up and then for each one as I start cutting it then I can use one as a pattern for that whole sail and cut it in that direction so let's see how long it takes me to cut all of this for 10 of these and then I'll start piecing them together it's going to be uh, definitely something to look at because that was the other thing too they couldn't they didn't have any 20 foot sections I had to do them in 10 foot so is it going to be a lot of waste for me but these were some pieces from last time that I was able to save. So, let's see if this one will work. A little long. Too short to go this way, so make this one a little top. But, let me see the measurement on that. Maybe I can mathematically make this work. What I mean by that is, see how big these are top to bottom. So I'm at 24 inches. That's 10 foot, that's 120. 26. Okay, so that way I don't like to have any waves. That way I don't. Awesome. So now what I got to do. Since I've got my site for this, I should be able to get these out of there. So that's what I'm
these are from the 20 footers right there. Oh, and just to give y'all a heads up, guys, we got a lot of video shorts that are really starting to take off. Part of that one million views was commenting on four other videos, and that was part of the giveaway. Now, just a heads up. I'm going to be doing the same thing for each one of those next videos that gets a million views. So, if you want to do a preemptive strike before I actually start doing the deal, Start commenting on there and make sure to add in new comment or uh, yeah, second million video. There you go. That'll be the comment that I'll be looking for on the next video when I, it hits a million views. Second million video. That'll be the comment I'm looking for. Obviously, you know, telling people about how we help you or something. Shout out to our sponsors, always a big plus. Because the more we make them happy, the more they're willing to help us out. So just keep that in mind, guys. It's, uh, you know, it's, we gotta take care of them. They take care of us. And that's the way it works. even on these it came out a few different sizes there which is good because I got a little selection to pick from for these first five but I had zero waste which is exactly what I'm looking for okay. and they're a little short but it's all right. I think we'll be all right with that at 29. I thought I was at 28. Somehow I dropped it on there. So I'm going to have a little bit of waste on all of these. Either way it looks like I was still going to get there. Alright, well, let's piece these together and keep rocking it from there.
I definitely can't be working like that. Get me. Our lights break tackle. Okay. Um, Captain Eric Hernandez with Hook of Memory Guide Services. Hook of, Mem Hook of Memory Guide Services? Yeah, if you get, give, give me just a minute, I'll actually give you his phone number. I just uh, got to go around the counter and go get it. Right, give me a second. Good to hear, boss. Good to hear. So. Oh yeah, now we we started selling the garlators like crazy lately. So. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck, and uh, if if he's not able to do it, let me know. I've, I've got a few other people we can recommend too. Okay, we'll find out, let me know. Okay, bye-bye. Got a customer inbound, so... 
may take a minute here to see what's up. Pulling videos right there. I hang it from my little. Oh right, yeah. This is like, uh, yeah, I've like, I've like been like kind of seeing you on YouTube a little bit. Oh, uh, he's the one that does all the fishing. See. Yeah, I just pulled up all four of those today. Yes. Actually, assembled them and got them pulled up today, and now I'm doing the cell line portion over there or for the cells. So. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah, it is some serious. And everything from this side that way is all my fishing gear. Oh, yours? Yes. Like a uh, mine, like my like your personal my, fishing. Yes, gear? my personal fishing gear. When I go fishing, this is, all, this is what I can take. <laughs> so I told you, I was like, when I want to go, just let me know. Like I got the gear. You're you like, like, I got a few poles. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh, I was watching one of your videos, dude. Um, and uh, actually this was like earlier this was like days ago and I remember I tried to send it to you uh, but I, I couldn't it was like too large it said or something so, uh, <clears throat> well that was definitely cool to see my my, uh, my family there my niece my nephew and my brother-in-law and stuff so yeah pretty awesome Last one, so I think I'll be doing one more cut here. <laughs> All right, so I'm still not liking this. I am thinking I may go back and use those as my stems to come out that way. Yeah, I'm thinking that. I don't, because then otherwise it's gonna be all scrunched up like this. You know, it's gonna be short. I'd rather have it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna recut those. Definitely gonna make sure I have enough room. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Sorry guys, I'm a little too picky when it comes to making my gear. Got to, got to have the right look, right functionality. Those don't, they're, they're not doing it for me, so. old gray one that I need to find. That one chunks up every single time. Alright, so this one I've had for forever. As you can tell, it's already all rusted and everything. But this thing works like a champ. Don't ever buy the red ones. They're a little cheaper, but they suck. Most of the length, but it's not. So. There. 
How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Doing all right, how can I help you? You got live stream? Live shrimp we don't carry because we're too far away from the water and it would end up being very dead, very expensive dead bait for y'all. Mm -hmm. Where y'all gonna go fishing at? I got no idea. Probably, probably go to the side or maybe for the over here. Uh, what are you trying to catch? Anything. Anything? Yeah, we just wanna go fish, man. Have you ever heard of using fish bites? Nope. It's an artificial bait that works really, really well. Um, that's my YouTube channel there there too we're out at goose island catching big old drum mm -hmm. uh, and there we what we do is we'll use the fish bite by itself and or in combination with other kind of baits yep. and uh, sea lice is another good bait that we can use right now for the black drums because they're they're pretty much in thick so depending on where you go you can get into them like we did we caught 40 of them in about a five hour period there how do they look like the sea lights or the yeah. They look like shrimp, but they're just a lot more pricklier and stuff like that. Okay. But there, you put them on hold, and they work. And, you can, and they're not like shrimp, where shrimp are real soft. These are like they got like a shell on them. Do you have the money for that? What's a good place to go fish over here? Uh, you're looking for Keeper Drum, you would go to Causeway Pier. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're looking for like sheephead, redfish, and trout. Yeah, redfish. Uh, then Packery Channel would probably be your best bet to go over there. Uh, how far yeah. How far is that from here? About 16 miles, 15, 20 minute drive, maybe. Okay. Yeah, you had that idea from there? Packery Channel? Yeah, the Packery Channel? Yeah, just put Packery Channel Jetty. Okay, right, the aisle side. Yeah, because we're not from here, we're from Houston, but we work in these areas. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Right, there you go. Yes, sir. Y'all got 4x4? Mm, no, it's not 2x4, 4x4. Okay, uh, let me see which jetty it took you to. So there's the north and the south side. Okay, it took you to the north side. Mm -hmm. That's the north, this is the south. Sometimes as soon as you come in, right in there is a big, big old area where you can you need 4x4 to get through. Over here, you have a better chance of doing it. Mm -hmm. And right here, they have a fence. There's a fence in area right there. Mm -hmm. So you can park right up in this area, but you got to get a beach parking permit. Mm, okay. Well, either way, you got to get a beach parking permit to okay. park on the beach. Now, um, if you don't want to buy that, mm -hmm. there's an area over here where you come in mm -hmm. and go right here instead, and it's all paved road. Okay. And you can fish off these docks. You can walk over here and fish over here and stuff. And there's actually. Um, if you come through this side, you can actually park right there and fish right on the rocks. Mm -hmm. So that'd be another spot you can go yeah, to. Yeah, right, probably, probably will be the best spot right there. Right. So let's do this. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yep, you have a good one.
The other bag, the other parts bag. Obviously, once I get my glue and set everything where it's supposed to be set, then I'll be good to go on this. But that's kind of the basic rundown of what we're going to be building. So I'm going to do the rough framework on this video, and then on the next one, I'll add the foam, glue it, and put the guidelines of what we need. But that's what we're building right there, guys. Awesome, awesome. Alright guys, so I am done for the night. Not done, but done. <laughs> so, I miscounted on the T's, and those are the T junctions down there. After I noticed how short I was, I wonder how many I can get through before I need to count. So, I need six more T's. Actually, hold on. Yeah, six more, because there's three flags right there. So I need six more T's there. I need... 12, 14, 16, 18. I need 18 more elbows. I don't know why I counted so little. I thought I counted enough for 10, 10 of the sales, but I guess I didn't. So that's step one, step two, step three. And then y'all will see step four and five later. So just give you an idea, guys. We are finally stocking up on the sale line products. And next will be after that, after we get the guidelines and the floats attached we're going to start on the buckets